morning's fire left nine people without a home, and the American Red Cross is stepping in to find temporary housing for them. But with hotels booked solid and thousands of people expected here for Formula One, the charity says they're having to get creative in order to get help for those people. KXA's Omar Lewis has this story. It's no surprise that finding a hotel this weekend will be a challenge. We've got people coming from England for the full race week. With 6,000 hotel rooms downtown and 30,000 citywide, there will still be a shortage. May I assist you? With more than 300,000 people expected for the Formula One race. That's our main concern, though, is people have a safe place to go after they've been affected by a disaster. The Red Cross has teamed up with city officials to figure out a plan in case of emergencies. Just this morning, they deployed a team to an East Austin fire where they're now providing shelter for the family that was affected. Disasters like this one can happen at any time, leaving an entire family without a home. But the Red Cross says they're constantly working to make sure they have a place to go on a busy weekend like the one we have coming up. These, these are for food storage. To keep. They say if necessary, they'll use mobile shelters like this one, ready to go in times where they can't rely on hotels. And we've got agreements in place for shelters all the time. Um, this weekend, no exception. So we're willing to open up shelters if we need to. They say hotels being booked is nothing new, like when ACL and South by Southwest are in town. But with Formula One, it's expected to reach another level, one they're preparing for in order to help families in desperate situations. It's a little bit different. I think I think everybody's concerned because it's new. I mean, we've never had F1 here before. And that was Omar Lewis reporting. The hotel rush is not limited to Austin. Hotels in Round Rock, San Marcos, Bastrop, even Marble Falls are seeing a surge in demand this week.